Greetings, Facebook friends. This is Pastor Jeff Johnson once again with you for my weekly devotion. What do you do when you don't feel thankful? Have you ever felt uh, totally down on life to where you'd like to just cancel the Thanksgiving holiday? Well, over the years, I've, I've heard people tell me all sorts of things about Thanksgiving. Many people have told me it's their favorite holiday. One person told me that, that she likes it because she doesn't have to do all the decorating and purchasing of gifts that are expected at Christmas. She said, all I have to do is provide a meal for my friends and family and we could gather and be thankful. Well, uh, providing a Thanksgiving meal for guests is not uh, always an easy thing, but, but yes, I understand the point. The meaning of Thanksgiving is very clear. It's about expressing our thankfulness for the people in our lives and most importantly, for God. But in this imperfect world with all the sickness and violence and the lack of love that we see every day and, and lack of respect for one another that, you know, how is one to be thankful? Well, I guess thankfulness in our world today uh, has to start with acknowledging that there are many things that are distressing and sad. We don't have to pretend like they don't exist. We express our feelings about the challenges in our lives. But friends, at some point, we will come around to thank the good Lord for all that he has provided and continues to provide for us every day. And number one being his love and grace. We acknowledge that uh, what we've lost this year, perhaps. Uh, but then let's see the truth that God is still with us. And we're thankful for the people in our lives and, and for what God continues to provide to sustain us. If you're one of those who suffered a painful loss this year, and of course many have, uh, we acknowledge it, yes, express your feelings to God. But then, hear these words from the book of James, chapter 1, verse 17. One verse. Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. Someone said this. Even on our worst days when everything seems broken, we can find peace in God's love and give thanks for God's many blessings. You and I are going to get through our present challenges. And we'll do it by looking to God and seeing his amazing love that keeps on blessing us despite everything. It gives us hope. So, Friends, focus on God's love and provision. The folks here at St. John's United Church of Christ in Orwigsburg, PA, wish you a good and a meaningful Thanksgiving holiday. And if you want to get a jump start on it, join us for community Thanksgiving Eve service Wednesday before Thanksgiving. That's tomorrow night if you're watching this on Tuesday at 7 p.m. here at St. John's. Let's pray. Dear God, we give thanks for the gift of life and the opportunities to give and to receive love. We acknowledge all that is not right in our world today and perhaps with us as well. And so we pray, Lord, that you'll open our eyes and hearts to recognize the many gifts and blessings you continue to bring into our lives. Thank you, Lord, for your constant love and provision. Amen. And God bless you, and I'll see you soon here on this Facebook page. Keep looking up.